Good morning, good morning, it's a happy day today. That is a song that my dad used to sing to me when I was a kid. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hello Studios, and I'm an LPS customizer who has been making LPS customs for about six years. I mean, if you can tell, I'm an LPS customizer. As you may or may not know, Littlest Pet Shop brand. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> LPS as a brand has a reboot. They stopped being produced in 2020, but now we have a whole new generation, Generation 7. Anyway, the cars are outside, the wind is blowing, it's kind of just a lazy afternoon, and I thought, hey, why not do another unboxing for this new generation? Now, what's very interesting or kind of frustrating about this generation, I suppose, is people are having a very hard time finding the Littles Pet Shop. So you can see I have a whole stack, of course. Um, that's because my local toy store just happened to have the Littles Pet Shop in stock. I just walked inside. It was a very, it's a very small local toy store. It's called um, OP Taylors. So I managed to snag some of these. I know people have been having a hard time finding them. So if you guys know any stores that are kind of niche, or you haven't heard that they've been found yet, make sure to leave it in the comments and help people <laughs> all throughout the world like find these Littles Pet Shop. Because um, resellers are actually getting these first. Nobody wants to rebuy the LPS for three times the price because of resellers. <laughs> resellers, for frustrating. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, would you like some pie? Check it out. I saw this trick of using a bottle cap to make a miniature pie. It's such a cute idea. And I'm obsessed. Sorry, that was just a random intermission. Before we get to it, I wanted to do a little segment for fan mail. You guys know the drill. My P.O. Box is in my channel about page. I like to feature fan mail every once in a while in my videos. So let's see what we got today. We're doing two. So this first one is from Chloe from Texas. Ooh. We got a note. Hello Studios, my daughter loves your customizations and wanted to send a care package to you. Please enjoy all these goodies from her. Have a blessed day. Oh my gosh. Chloe sent me a care package. That's so sweet. It's like an emerald green color. I think you stick them to your nails and you can kind of create, like do your own manicure at home. These are so cute. I love these flower ones. These are kind of Christmas themed, they're little reindeers. That's how you apply them. Actually, I really never do anything with my nails, so that is a very kind gesture. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a cute little sticker and a YouTube sticker on the front. I'm not quite sure what this is. Is this a phone stand? This looks like a phone stand. Let's see. That is so helpful. I'm guessing that uh, Chloe noticed that I used this like <laughs> this piece of garbage Lego phone stand that I made when I was a little kid. And this is all I've been using my whole life to prop my phone up on my desk. It, it works very well, but it's nice to have something a little bit more clean looking. Oh, this is so cute. This is a handmade donut necklace. Disney princesses. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> this is probably my favorite Disney princess movie, though you probably could have guessed that from Extraordinary Magic. I just have a lot of really good memories watching this movie. Actually, we also have a family friend, like my family has a family friend that knows the person who helped design the Beast character from this movie. It's a small world. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're little sponges, but they're dinosaurs. And last but not least, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful mermaid pen. Oh, I love getting stuff like this, like little textured stuff, because you know I'm going to be pressing this against clay to get this scale pattern. I, I know you probably didn't send it to me for that specifically, but I'll probably use it for that as well. Thank you so, so much, Chloe. I'm going to try to do my nails, and maybe in the next video I can be wearing these, but this will be so nice to kind of sit down and just take care of my nails for once. Little donut necklace for me to cherish. And if I get hungry, I can, I can, I'm kidding, okay. <laughs> Part two, this one is from Charlie from Florida. The back has a little drawing of the beast. I need to get myself a letter opener. Oh, I know this package. I remember when I picked this package up, I was confused because sparkles were falling everywhere. You sparkle my car. 
We have a little seal, a little keychain charm, and it has a, probably for Autumn, which is my name. My name, oh wait, actually this might be a necklace. It's like a charm necklace. Another cute sticker, and ooh. So Charlie's in fourth grade, and she has made her very first custom recently. There's also a little picture of the beast. And we got one more little paper here. <gasps> Did you draw me stuff? I'm so ready. So we have the beast, AKA Prince Aaron. Oh, we have Miss Beth. Oh, I love the butterflies by Beth's name. That's so sweet. <laughs> Guys, I might need to vacuum these real quick. Necklace part two. <laughs> Guys, I am so decked out today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chloe and Charlie. Charlie's in this video because her sparkles are all over my desk. Thank you so much for everything. Okay, so now normally I would get to the LPS part, but I actually have a surprise, something a little self-indulgent I want to unbox. So it's from the same toy store, OP Taylor's. Um, I was looking today for the pink axolotl and she wasn't there, so she's not in this unboxing video, unfortunately. However, <laughs> I did find something and of course I bought it because impulse control. <laughs> so please join me for a completely random, unscheduled, self-indulgent unboxing of Calico Critters. <laughs> but they're penguins. They are penguins. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what these are, Calico Critters or Civilian Families is a toy company that makes these very fuzzy looking little miniature doll toys that you can dress up, but they're animals. When I, okay, so when I was a kid, these were like my favorite toy. Like my parents would take us to Toys R Us and this is the toy that we got to pick out. Like, okay, you can pick out one toy in the aisle. And then we would go and we'd all, like me and my siblings, my sisters, we would run to the Calico Critter section. And this was just like our favorite toys. They were so fun. We had a whole collection and we actually sold them a few years ago. So I haven't really interacted with this brand very much besides the fact that Calico Critter Furniture is incredibly nice for LPS. So I have used a little bit of Calico Critter Furniture, say for like filming for in Beth's house. Anyway, this is all to say, Calico Critters are very special to me. I think they are so cute. I was looking at the aisle today and I just saw these and they are just so stinking adorable. I'm not particularly like keen on penguins. It's not like they're my favorite animal or anything, but they are pretty darn cute and I really love birds. So their little bird beak faces just kind of captured my heart and I splurged. <laughs> Since we're already doing an unboxing, let's go ahead and unbox these for funsies. Why not? We're gonna start with this smaller set. Warning, not for children under three years. Guys, I qualify. Accessory set. So it comes with two little penguins, little goggles, and they have a sled or a car. Ride and play. Baby penguins, guys. <laughs> oh! so freaking cute. Those are little accessories it comes with. Here is a cute little print. Oh my goodness. And the ones featured on the back, this is the full family. Of course, I got the parents. I'm not gonna let these little orphan children go without their parents. Derek, eat your ice cream, sweetheart. Mama, I don't wanna. Mm. Um, hi Darcy, I'm giving you the disgusting chocolate flavor because I don't like chocolate. I'm gonna stick with the, I'm gonna stick with the pink one, uh, cause I'm a girl. Girly, I don't even know what you're saying. I am just happy to eat ice cream. Give me that right now. Nom nom nom. That's my boy. <laughs> His freaking flippers are so cute! Look at that little yellow bow! Darling, I think there's something wrong with our children. All they're eating is ice cream. It's fine. I mean, come on, when I was a kid, all I ate was marshmallow fluff sandwiches and look how I turned out. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, come here, you little munchkins. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at these little darlings. Oh, I just love how calico critters are just so fuzzy and happy looking. These little penguins are stupidly cute. Look at their little flippers. Oh my gosh, their little goggles. Stop. <laughs> oh, I just love this toy brand. It is, they, everything they make is super cute. It's unbelievable. Zoom, 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 zoom.
honestly, this little packaging is so cute. I feel like you could actually just take little LPS photos in it. Like a little LPS photo booth. Penguin family. There's the mama penguin, the papa penguin, and the baby. This is ridiculously adorable. They're so like chunky and happy. Beautifully detailed, which I can attest. Sapphire the penguin mother has taken the family out on an ice for some dancing. Hold hands, everyone, she says. Sapphire and Ozzy the penguin father are having a wonderful time dancing together. The babies, quiet Kippy, mischievous Rocky, and serious Pearl, love holding onto each other's backs and skating together. Hey, Macarena. Hey, Okay, Rocky, please do not fart because I am right behind you and I do not appreciate it. Okay, noted. Noted, sis. I will. Hello, darling. Isn't it a lovely day outside today? Oh, yes, it is. Thank you, my darling Ozzy. Suffer. Your eyes are just gorgeous today. They've got a, a beautiful dark black shine of bottomless pit. Oh, thank you, darling. I grew my eyeballs myself, so I, I really appreciate you complimenting them. Come here, my penguin children. Look at how fuzzy. Oh my gosh, look at that one. The mother penguin. Oh, she's my favorite. She's like a little darling, little mother penguin. This really makes me want to try flocking LPS because I feel like you could get a similar kind of effect to what you feel like when you look at calico critter. They're so chunky and round. Oh, I just want to squeeze them. Oh. Ah! I'm just dropping everything. I'm a klutz. Look at that! Here's the third baby penguin. Here is the mama and papa penguin. Their little bow. Oh, they are darling. They're so perfect. Look at their little beaks. Oh my goodness. Here's how they look, just clean. Just the base. This is so fuzzy. I think it helps that penguins look so sleek, so they just transfer to calico critter style so well. Because this is what I would imagine a penguin would feel like if it kind of lived in warmer temperature. A fuzzy penguin. Uh, here is the full family. <laughs> I want to cry. They're so cute. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for indulging this random... <laughs> Calico, calico critter side quest we just went on. Now that we have severely gotten distracted, <laughs> it's time for the actual LPS, the point of the video. Pet pairs, one, two, three, and four. And I also managed to find pet fluencer pairs. Okay, can I just say that generation seven, their boxes are so gorgeous. I just love how they package things. I have not been able to bring myself to, to dispose of any of the boxes. I've been just using them to store things in. Ooh, it's a very hard card showing a little beach scene. And on the back, it says little as pet shop. I didn't know they come with these little backing cards. Oh my gosh, here are the LPS. Let's check and see which card we got. Token, and we got the owl. This set comes with a little coconut, little hearts, a banana, 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 banana. This owl has a cute beach themed swing. And as for the LPS, they have glitter on them, which makes them feel very special. Imagine this LPS with glass eyes, that would be mesmerizing. <laughs> but also I'm kind of getting Duolingo owl vibes. That would be kind of fun to do little cursed Duolingo custom. And I think this is a Labradoodle. I could be wrong. That's just off the top of my head. Looks like he's got a little factory error here. Nothing I can't fix. And look what a cute base this is. I've never seen this base in my entire life. I'm sure it's a remold of an old one. And she is just so beautiful. Wow. The colors are very pleasing. Put those little babies back here. Okay, I'm so excited for this box. I've, ever since I saw it, I wanted it. I don't know what it is. It's just like, it is so cute. And this set has an otter and a dolphin. <laughs> Here's a little print card it comes with. Very nice material again. Token. I got the dolphin. Let's get them out. Free the children. Let's save the pitiful children. Whoa. Let's have the pitiful children. 
Here's the set, and here's with the backing card. I have to say, this new generation is just doing wonders with the coloring. So it comes with popcorn, goggles for spying on people, these obscenely cute glasses. <laughs> Come here, Mother Penguin. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh, combining my two favorite toy brands. Darling, these glasses make me look good. I can't see anything, but I'll do it for fashion's sake. So these characters come with a little prop, which is this wave where you can place them on as a display. The dolphin has glitter on it, so you know I love it. And can I just say, I love the color scheme of this dolphin. This one would probably look very cute as an ivory paint custom, because the actual paint job is so gorgeous. And I'd love to see what I could do with the eyes, but I'm not sure if I'll modify her because she is just so beautiful. And then of course, the adorable otter. This is the main event for most people. Generation two otters are extremely expensive. So I'm just so happy to see this mold being used. This is probably my favorite pet fluencer pack. And I hope that other people can find it and buy it. Little angels. Okay, we're gonna move on to the uh, pet pairs. As the name suggests, the kind of gimmick of this package is two LPS together with some props. It's very similar to the pet fluencer pet, except um, I think these ones are kind of more hard to find or exclusive. I, they're more expensive, I should say. So I guess these are like more of a collector pet. This is the one featuring the, the pink axolotl, as I mentioned before, that I was looking everywhere for this set. I just can't find it. I don't know where it is. Um, and these are the other options. It's like a scavenger hunt in real life every day looking for these. Token, and we got the tiger card. Okay, so for accessories, this is so cute and right down my alley. We have a steak and some peanuts. So we have a little kiwi bird and a tiger on a jaguar base. I would love, again, I know people are collecting these, but I would just love to repaint this one, like more stripes and just see what I can do with this one, but um, I'm not sure yet. Ah, so many video ideas. And this kiwi bird, guys, this kiwi bird is so expensive if you wanted to buy the old generation version. And I think there was only like one or two of this mold. So having it is such a blessing. Like I want to paint this thing so bad. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. It's little stubby little body. Oh my gosh, it's a little beak. I love birds. <laughs> I mean, obviously. The brown eyes on this kiwi bird, I adore. It's like chestnut brown. Yeah, I think Basic Fun is doing a wonderful job just creating the designs. They look so good. Like keep it up. Amazing work. Pet Flinter Pack 2. Token. So if you're a cats and dogs collector, this is a perfect option for you. This set comes with some sardines. Delicious. Ooh, some bougie grapes and a strawberry. Oh my gosh, and some cheese with like a little, is that, I don't know what that is. It kind of reminds me of like ratatouille when he eats the cheese and the strawberry. Side note, has anyone actually tried that before? Like cheese and strawberry? I feel like I watched that movie and I was like, now I have to try it. He made it look so good. And here are the LPS. This is the little German Shepherd. And I'm not sure the actual name of this cat. I just love the warm tones. I love how pleasing they are to look at. They just, everything complements itself so well. This one's particularly cute. I love, like, I just want to cuddle these. They're so cute. Basic fun. You're making me go broke. Why are you making everything look so adorable? See, most of the time I see an LPS and I'm like, oh, I want to paint that because, like, I want to fix it. But why do these look so perfect? Like, they don't need fixed. Okay, next one. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Clydesdale. Come here right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get the token. <laughs> are you guys like in the, uh, the Roblox game? token. <gasps> I got the card with the Clydesdale. Oh, and the accessories on this one are cute too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it comes with some apples. We have some carrots right in time for Easter. Are you guys doing anything special for Easter? I want to try this, uh, this coloring egg trip. I think you use baking soda and vinegar, and it's a way of making the eggs. I don't know, the colors go on very interesting. I saw a video of it somewhere, and it, it looked very cool. And some watermelon. It's a watermelon. Oh, it's a watermelon. Oh, it's a wa Why is it so hard to hold? This is like a soap bar in the shower. As for the LPS, oh my gosh. So the Clydesdale is obviously my favorite. Look at the hearts on, this, on the legs. 
This is another extremely expensive base that if I ever wanted to customize it before I had to splurge. I think the cheapest one is like $35 and it's the blue song note one. So just having this readily available base, even though I don't want to paint this one because this one is just so cute. The Clydesdales just carry a sort of elegance that the normal horse bases don't have. I'm gonna be going wild with Irie paints. Look how fuzzy the horse hooves are. Okay, sorry, there's another one in this pack. A woodpecker, another very elegant base. They paired like these very well, these two animals. And just moving these LPS around in this lighting, they look so perfect. The colors are perfect. The shines on the eyes look so nice. The actual paint job has shimmeringness to it. Like they just sealed it in something very clean looking. I was a little bit worried when I heard that the new generation was coming out. I was worried about the quality, you know? Of course I was so happy to hear of it, but I was just, I was worried. I was like, maybe the LPS when they come out, like they're not gonna be as good as we're expecting. So I was kind of like setting myself up for like, okay, yeah, I'm happy they're coming out, but maybe they won't look very good. So just kind of brace yourself. But no, like look at these, they're so, perfect it's just it's so nice to have new lps again and and they're not just they're not just doing the bare minimum they are so detailed the designs are so well thought out the coloring whoever is doing the coloring like they need a raise <laughs> like the muted colors look at these beautiful purple eyes outlandish colors they can be nice in moderation but this is just a preference of mine in toys i just really like to see this sort of natural tones it's just done so well just brilliant absolutely brilliant oh this clydesdale i'm obsessed with it okay guys we have one more box come here my children my adorable bobbly children we got fish fishy fishy token oh that's upside down token oh token <laughs> Okay, this set comes with a little boom box, a drink, and humorously, it comes with sushi, and you're thinking, why is that funny? Well, I mean, there's a fish. <laughs> oh, Sarah, oh, I loved you like a sister. I'm sorry, you're traumatized. Let me put that away for you. But also, can we talk about sushi? Like, bougie. Also, now I'm hungry. <laughs> A beautiful fish base. I want to paint this fish base in a koi, in a koi, bleh, bleh, words, as like a koi fish, but still her paint job is perfect. Honestly, like it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, the eye color. Like, look at that eye color. It's like a lush lilac color and violets. The green color is just like the color of underwater kelp. They're so nicely detailed. She looks so beautiful. And then the gray wolf. I know a lot of people have been looking to get their hands on this one. This is probably one of my favorite LPS to have been released in this wave. He's very simple, but I just, I love the look of it. I know everyone's very excited to see the cat and dog bases. I know people I'm looking for this one and I really hope if you're looking for it you find it. He looks just absolutely gorgeous. I want to use a little penguin. So that is all the boxes I have done today and honestly just so impressed with how the LPS quality has improved. It looks so good. This new generation is such a blessing for our community. I know everyone is very excited to see like all these bases are very exciting of course but short hairs and dash hounds and great danes i am very excited for the main fives to come back there's just a special place in my heart for short hairs and i want to hoard them i hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed bye